Apple TV Plus. Tim Cook called on some Hollywood A-listers to help unveil his company's new video streaming service today. All of this and the chance for us to collaborate again has brought me back to television and I'm really excited about it. Aniston and others talked about their new projects for the ad-free service. I love circles, by the way. Which will debut this fall, but no details yet on price, as Apple goes head-to-head -head with Netflix, Amazon, and others. This is obviously a way of trying to get us sort of hooked on Apple, not just as a maker of phones, but as a maker of entertainment and other services. Apple also introduced a news subscription service, Apple News Plus. We've got magazines for just about every passion. More than 300 and a few newspapers, including the Los Angeles Times and the Wall Street Journal. It will cost $9.99 a month and it's eligible for family sharing. A gaming subscription service, Apple Arcade, was also unveiled, as well as a credit card called Apple Card that offers daily cash back. No late fees, no annual fees, no international fees, and no over limit fees. The question for Apple is whether this new array of services, they're in a billion pockets, y'all, a billion pockets, will pay dividends. This first keynote focusing on services after the news that iPhone sales have fallen 15% in the last quarter. In Cupertino, Jennifer Bjorklund, NBC News.